If keto is just a fad, then why does it outperform medications for weight loss, diabetes, and blood pressure? Either we've all been duped or we're finally waking up. Today I want to break down the real science behind the ketogenic diet and why I believe as a board certified obesity doctor with a master's in nutrition and functional medicine that it's not just a trend, it's the future of medicine. Not just for weight loss, but for healing the root cause of almost every chronic disease we see in clinics every day and that's poor metabolic health. Stick with me because toward the end, I'll reveal the single reason most doctors still fear keto and why that mindset is hurting patients more than helping them. Let me start with a confession. I'm a doctor and I'm a carnivore. Why? Because plants and I have a complicated relationship. Every time I eat one, I end up playing a game of Russian roulette with my gut. And let's just say my irritable bowel syndrome usually loses. So I did what many of my patients are afraid to do. I removed the guesswork. When I discovered that a carnivore approach, essentially the ultimate form of keto, worked for me, I stuck with it. Not because it's trendy, but because it's the first time in years I felt free from the pain. But here's the bigger issue. I work for one of the largest health systems in the country. And even though keto is the most effective diet for metabolic health, is still treated like some fringe idea by many of my medical colleagues. That's what baffles me. But don't worry because I'm working with my health system to change that. And we've already started the process by developing programs like the food pharmacy, smart farms, and diabetes prevention programs, to name a few, and have invested one billion on the south side of Chicago to build a new model of healthcare, one where we teach our teams how to keep people out of the hospital. So let's zoom out for a second. Metabolic health is defined by five key markers, blood pressure, blood sugar, waist circumference, triglycerides, and HDL cholesterol. These aren't obscure lab values. These are the foundation of whether or not you'll end up with diabetes, heart disease, fatty liver, dementia, or live a long, vibrant life. Now ask yourself, which diet improves all five of these markers faster and more effectively than any other? You guessed it, keto. Let's start with blood pressure. The DASH diet is often the go-to recommendation, but in studies when DASH was compared to the ketogenic diet, keto was twice as effective for weight loss and blood pressure reduction, twice. Now let's talk about blood sugar. Diabetes is a disease of carbohydrate intolerance. So what happens when you reduce the macronutrient that would be carbs that spikes blood sugar the most. Your numbers drop, you feel better, and many reduce or even eliminate their medication. That's not a fad, that's therapeutic carb restriction. Oh, and by the way, that DASH versus keto study I mentioned earlier revealed that the keto diet was three times more effective against diabetes. Up next, triglycerides and HDL. Fat becomes your fuel on keto. And guess what? Triglycerides are fat. When you burn fat for energy, those triglyceride numbers drop like a stone. And HDL? No drug has ever raised HDL as effectively as keto. Pharma's tried and failed because of all the side effects of the drugs. Only two things raise HDL reliably. A ketogenic diet and exercise, that's it. And abdominal fat, your waist circumference, that's not just a cosmetic issue. It's inflammatory. It's a hormonal signal that something is wrong. When you compare low-fat diets to low-carb or keto diets, only the keto-style diets consistently shrink the belly. Public Health Collaborative data confirms it. There have been zero low-fat studies that show significantly weight loss compared to a keto diet, zero. Let's go under the hood because when people ask, why is keto so effective? The answer is in the biology, not just the buzz. First, lower insulin means less fat storage. Carbohydrates raise blood sugar. In response, your pancreas pumps out insulin, your body's fat storage hormone. The more insulin you have floating around, the harder it is to burn fat. Keto reduces carbohydrate intake drastically, which keeps insulin levels low. Low insulin means your body can finally access its fat stores for energy. This is why so many people say, for the first time, my body is burning fat not just storing it. Second, ketones are nature's clean fuel. When carbs are low, your liver produces ketones from fat. These ketones are just an energy source. They're a cleaner, more efficient fuel for the brain and body. They generate fewer free radicals, which means less oxidative stress, less inflammation, and better cellular repair. And if you're dealing with brain fog, mood issues, or even 
neurological conditions, this matters. Third, keto resets your hunger hormones. Two hormones control your hunger. Ghrelin, which makes you hungry, and leptin, which tells you you're full. When you eat high carb meals, ghrelin spikes quickly, then crashes, leaving you hungry again in a couple of hours. Keto stabilizes these hormones. You're not constantly hungry. Patients often say, I'm shocked I forgot to eat lunch. And as a doctor who treats obesity, that's music to my ears. Fourth, keto boosts fat adaptation and mitochondrial efficiency. That means your cells produce more energy with less waste. This is crucial for people with chronic fatigue, metabolic syndrome, and even early cognitive decline. Keto doesn't just give you a fuel shift, it gives you a metabolic upgrade. And finally, keto reduces inflammation. Inflammation is the silent saboteur of our health from arthritis to Alzheimer's. It plays a role in almost every chronic condition. Ketones have been shown to lower inflammatory cytokines and many patients report reduced joint pain, clear skin, and better digestion after going keto. So no, keto isn't just about macros. It's about reclaiming control over your metabolism, one molecule at a time. Now let's talk about the elephant in the exam room. If keto is this powerful, why are so many doctors still afraid of it? First, outdated education. Most physicians were trained decades ago on the fat equals bad model. We learned that saturated fat clogs arteries and that the food pyramid was gospel. But research evolves. And sadly, our medical education often doesn't. Many doctors haven't had a single hour of updated nutrition training since med school. Second, fear of cholesterol. Let's be honest, keto can raise LDL in some people, especially hyper responders. But what we often forget is that triglycerides plummet, HDL climbs, inflammation markers improve, and small dense LDL particles shift to large fluffy ones, which are less atherogenic. Yet instead of looking at the full lipid panel, many doctors panic at the first sight of LDL over 130. We forget to ask, is this rise in cholesterol happening in the context of metabolic healing? Because context is everything. Third, many doctors misunderstand keto itself. They think it's all about eating keto bars or low carb breads, or they confuse it with extreme fat diets from social media. But therapeutic keto done with real food under guidance is radically different. Fourth, there's a lack of reimbursement and system support. Let's face it, pharmaceuticals come with billing codes, reps, and EMR integration. Lifestyle changes don't. There's no billing code for eight fewer carbs. And until that changes, many systems won't prioritize it. And finally, it's simpler than we want to admit. Telling a patient to cut carbs, eat real food, and go for a walk feels too simple. We're trained to offer complex interventions, but sometimes the most powerful solution isn't a prescription. It's permission to heal with food. Do we want medicine to be about managing disease or reversing it? Do we want to prescribe more pills or unlock the power of food? Keto isn't a miracle, it's a tool, a powerful, underused, and often misunderstood tool. And and if your goal is to achieve metabolic health, the root cause, the root of true wellness, then keto isn't a fad. It's a future we can't afford to ignore. So let's recap. Keto improves every marker of metabolic health. It outperforms many medications without side effects. It's backed by science, clinical experience, and lived results. But it may not be the right path for everyone. But dismissing it, that's what's truly dangerous. Now, of course, this isn't medical advice. It's metabolic truth served with a side of ribeye. Always talk to your doctor, or better yet, send them this video. Video. And if this gave you something to think about, hit that like button, share this video, and let me know in the comments, have you tried keto or its favorite cousin, the carnivore diet? Did it change your health story? And don't forget to subscribe because I'm not done telling the truth. And for more on how to live your best life, check out the video on the screen. It was perfectly selected for you as you are continuing your journey to achieve metabolic health. I'll see you in the next video.